Alright, hey guys, it's Jed here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Windows 7 on your Mac for free, and it's not the trial version, so yeah, and first of all I'd like to say sorry for not uploading any videos uh, for about a year I think, but uh, don't worry guys, I'm going to start uploading tutorials uh, a bit more constantly, frequently I'd say. Uh, so yeah, uh, watch out for them videos coming out soon. But anyway, let's get into this tutorial. So uh, to get Windows on your Mac, you're going to want to use a program called Parallels Desktop 8, as you can see on my Dropbox. And uh, in the description of this video, you're going to want to click in the link in the description, and it'll take you to my Dropbox here. And you can just download this Parallels Desktop 8.dmg file onto your Mac and once that's done downloading, uh, let me get out of this. This, By the way, this is the Windows Chrome, uh, just to show you that I can have Windows on my Mac. So once I get out of that, and once you open the uh, Parallels desktop file that you downloaded, it will look like this, and you're going to want to open it. And uh, once you open it, you're going to hit open, and it will start prompting you with some messages. And after it's after this message is gone, it will say it will encourage you to uh, get the next get the newest version of Parallels. You're gonna wanna say no, skip this version, and it's gonna prompt you with another message afterwards. And you're gonna wanna say no, uh, use current. So uh, I'm not I'm not gonna have those message messages pop up because I already installed Parallels Desktop 8. But you will have those messages prop up, so just select those options. Select skip version and no use current um, for those messages. <clears throat> so, anyway, once that is done, uh, you will have to set up parallels uh, onto your Mac. And you're going to want to go into the description of this video again, and there's going to be a windows7.iso file in the description and you're going to want to click that and start downloading it it'll give you an option you can get the 64 bit or the 32 bit windows 7 uh, ultimate but each file is about 3 gigabytes so you're going to have to free up some space and it will take a while to download but anyway guys once you're done downloading the iso file you're gonna go to this uh, screen here after you're done installing Parallels Desktop and you're gonna want to click install Windows or another OS from DVD or image file and hit continue and you're gonna want to install from choose an image file and from here you're gonna want to locate the .iso file that you just downloaded it'll probably be in your downloads folder but again uh, I already got it so I don't need to do it again and you're going to want to hit continue but once you hit continue it'll start uh, with the setup screen for the Windows uh, 7 and it's going to take a while to set up, trust me it's going to take a while so uh, just like leave your computer and do and do something else because it's going gonna, it's gonna to need some time and anyway once it's done uh, doing once it's done installing you're gonna have Windows 7 on your Mac for free and you're gonna be able to use any Windows program that you couldn't use before on your Mac say like RPG Maker uh, XP which I know some people uh, want to make games using that but they can't because they have a Mac I know some people do uh, with that problem but anyway they'd be able to do that now and you'd be able to do it too so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video um, like the video if it helped you and subscribe for more content like this and I promise I'll start uploading more frequently for you guys. And if you have a problem or any queries like that, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have anything that you want me to do a tutorial on, or gameplay or vlogs or such, leave it down in the comment section below. But anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. See you later.